It's going to be a warmer day today. High pressure. It's a weak ridge, meaning it'll keep us dry for a few hours and then it's going to break down with this next system coming in from the north. That's going to cool us down tomorrow. Uh, this afternoon through tomorrow, we could see some light rain off of this, even some mountain snow. We wake up on Friday morning behind this system. Our first freeze of the year is possible. And then that big blue H-E thing, that is high pressure. That is a Canadian high. That is going to be a very strong area of high pressure, very dominant. As we head into Friday across the weekend, we're going to get warmer and we're going to dry out. How warm could we get? Well, today we're looking at temperatures a little bit warmer than yesterday, uh, 50s and 60s across the area. But then we start to warm up behind that cool that cool down on uh, Thursday. Tomorrow we have that freeze waking up on Friday. A lot of sunshine going to be associated with this area of high pressure. So don't forget the uh, sunscreen. UV levels won't be that high, but still, if you burn it, it would be a good idea. And then look at that. The weekend's just going to be spectacular. Get out there and make use of it. And we're going to warm up. How warm? Well, Sunday, Monday, I have us in the upper 70s here in Billings. Some models suggest we actually could crack 80. And then we get into Tuesday. Uh, still a little bit uh, cattywonkered a little bit with the uh, the models on this. Not in a whole lot of agreement. There could be another trough developing out there to our west out in the Pacific. That could bring another chance of rain back in by Tuesday and also could bring some cooler temperatures. Outlooks still show, though, through the middle of the month. We're going to be warmer than average.